just who in the heck is Neil Breen? I've, I've been told about the guy. I've been made aware he makes movies, and I was just not prepared for what he actually is. I checked out his wiki, and it, his eyes are closed. They're, they're closed. Is this the Illuminati? No. No, this is Neil Breen. The man that bought a green screen one day and thought, sure, I can make a movie. Yeah, why not? Today, the patrons picked the movie Twisted Pair, which is what happens when a cowboy rides bareback for one too many hours. It also symbolizes my last two brain cells as they spiral down the toilet because this is Red Eye Reviews. This video does not have a format, because this movie does not have a format. Neil took the book for how to make movies, and then he just used it to prop the hall door open so that we could get enough light to film. If you can't guess, he filmed a large chunk of this movie at Nevada State College, where I can only imagine the conversation went something like this. Hey, can I film a movie at your school? Well, Mr. Breen, that depends. Will you, uh, pay us for it? Um, no. Okay. Well, how about we let you use one building for one night, and you're not allowed to turn any of the lights on? And Neil said, I can work with that. <music> Twisted Pair is about two twin brothers who were selected as children. By who? For, uh, for what? We don't know. Neil cannot be troubled with such trivial things. He has art to make. We were both selected. A force had taken us. We were separated from our family. Just know that he developed powers. Okay? Powers to materialize small candles in the woods. Ironically, pine-scented candles. His flame was put out. Although we were now humanoids, I still felt a bond and love for him. And now I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking, how are we going to tell them apart if they're identical twins? Well, Mr. Breen thought of that. I knew it was you. Why haven't you contacted me? See? Yeah, it's a, it's a subtle difference, but it is enough that we understand who's who. We're different. No, I'm different. So, the good twin is a hero. He flies around and he interacts with B-roll of soldiers he's purchased off the internet. Follow me. They can't hurt me. You won't get hurt. All the while, the same small explosion makes a singular sound. Over and over. And over? Wait, let me go first. It's like if a mid-90s computer game decided to make a movie. Also, get used to pausing, because Neil could not find a better way to do it. Uh, so this, this happens a lot. No, I'm different. Now, you might be wondering, who gives our man these super important missions? Well, most of the time, it's this lady who sounds like they just recorded her reading the script for the first time, and they just went with that. Well done. I'll see you back at headquarters. Why don't you take off a few days before your next mission? Nah, I don't need that. Oh, that's right. You're special. And we're just barely scratching the surface, folks, because the primary bad guy, I don't know. It's anybody's guess, really. He mentions artificial intelligence, like a lot, and all of it amounts to a single room that is supposed to be its brain, but it's definitely just a computer lab that they turned on. However, they did not have the login for these computers, so we're all just on the Windows 7 homepage. In AI, fright and interest are not far from each other. We also get a meeting at one point where everybody is crammed on the same side of the table. While they speak words, like, towards each other, but they seemingly have zero correlation to one another. Programmable DNA. This is very serious. Programmable matter. We are on the verge of mind hacking. Special agencies are 
prepared. We will all be connected telepathically. But we hardly have time to figure out whatever that was, because he tries the most aggressive approach to getting a date. Oh, Jesus, shit. I'll take you out to dinner. Leave me alone. I have a voice. Let's have a, let's have a drink. That's no, my no. fault, really. I paper. apologize. Just leave me alone. Let me make leave it me up to no. you. I'll meet you here at 8 o'clock. We'll go out for a drink. And as if he needed to look more like a creep, he even comes back at eight to discover she is not there. It's eight o'clock. She's not here. Oh, well, you try. So feeling dejected, he tracks her down. He then sneaks into her house and he attacks her. <gasps> I'm going to hurt you now. You can't resist me now. Get over here. And while teetering on the verge of turning into a low-budget adult film, we find out... What's for dinner? Oh, your favorite. Tell mom I said hi. <laughs> She's like, uh, his sister? Wife? Uh, I, I don't know, they have the same mom? Who the hell knows? I do love these aggressive sound bites, though. Bitch, get over here. <sighs> Bitch. Meanwhile, a secret man in a hoodie kidnaps some businessmen, one of which who uh, <laughs> has a tape mustache. It's, it's not even a tape on mustache. No, it is a piece of tape with a mustache drawn on it. And this mustache plays... No part to his character other than Neil thought that he should have a mustache. So these guys proceed to Monty Python their list of evil deeds. You know, just so we understand that they are, in fact, bad guys. I'm going to hold you here for all the crimes that you've committed. Oh, I knew this was going to come back to bite The illegal drugs! <sighs> the illegal guns! The insurance scams we run! All the politicians we've been paying off. Oh, the stolen cars. Millions embezzled from charities. Human trafficking. The CEOs we had assassinated. Hell, we've even sold military secrets. And after this vigilante justice, we have now officially seen the entire movie set. We got the school building that's supposed to be the evil headquarters slash AI supercomputer. We have the house with the couch that has a very large gap in it, and it bugs the hell out of me. And then we have that homeless man's, like, cement pad, which is also clearly just on the Nevada State campus. I've reserved this entire restaurant. I hear the food is spectacular. It's just friggin' invisible! <laughs> I bought you a present. You did? I did. A candle. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Honestly, it's the kind of movie that makes you feel like you're having a brain aneurysm. Actually, better yet, okay? If you haven't tried drugs before, you don't need to. Just watch this movie, and you're basically getting the best part of taking drugs. But he learns that his twin has kidnapped old tape mustache and his friends. I mean, who else would it have been, honestly? But these twins are nothing alike, because while he likes to wrestle and be inappropriate with his maybe sister girlfriend, his evil twin likes to give his girlfriend drugs and alcohol and smack each other around a bit. That's oh, our damn get money! Get away from me! Oh my god! All I want is the drugs and the money! We're both fucked up! It's the only fight in the movie, and it just so happens to be the best fight in the movie. I don't want you anymore! I didn't even talk about the bad guy yet, because he's like a dude who fondles diamonds like it's his job. And he just sucks on sulfur hexafluoride because, well, it's like the anti-helium. Mr. Coos, I assume. So you're interested in my special art? Ah, so you come highly recommended. 
Oh, yeah. And the bad guy sidekick is the green fairy. And there is a lot of awkward standing done around her. Yes, I'm interested. Meanwhile, his brother bounces between torturing businessmen, doing drugs with his girlfriend, and just sort of standing around. Two for me. Two for you. Kale, I'm so content now. Oh, God. I, okay, I totally forgot to tell you guys that the tape stash guy and his friends, they they moan, like, a lot. Oh, <sighs> oh, <sighs> 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 They moan like adult film moan. Oh. Oh. I, I don't know. I guess it's their version of a pained sound. It sounds like they like it, if you ask me. So he bounces back and forth between the dark school, the computer side. Sorry. The AI supercomputer room and outside the school. At one point, he picks something up in the lab before remembering that he was not supposed to touch anything and it's probably expensive, so he puts it back. We get a couple random scenes with his sister slash wife gal pal. I trust you completely. Glad to have our personal lives to rely on. I know who I feel sorry for. Man, it is not Neil. Then we get my three favorite scenes back to back. Scene one. Neil has a nightmare. Who's there? Who's there? I know somebody's there. Who's there? What do you want? Who are you? And a sudden case of narcolepsy. Scene two. Homeless guy is feeding a spirit Halloween store fake rat with some food. And then a guy comes up and stabs him in his very square-shaped leg. Before just leaving without a word. And then scene three. The drug girlfriend mistakes good Neil for evil Neil. And he convinces her otherwise. I've never had a beard. I never had a beard. Honestly, my terrible movie tank is so full by this point, I couldn't eat another bite, yet he continues to shove it down our throat. So he decides to go back to evil school computer brain chemistry lab and he blows the place up. Empire. I'm ending this. Then we see that fairy chick starts playing like a she's playing a Neil Breen movie in somebody's home theater and it uh, it kills her. We don't know. We don't know. He gets home and his sister pulls a gun on him. She's like, ha, I, I was a bad guy the whole time. And he doesn't really understand, but he does try desperately to be inappropriate with her one last time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, with, I'm you. with you. Then, much like the Lord of the Rings Return of the King, it has like six freaking endings. He leaves. He comes back. He leaves. He comes back. He says some things to try and pretend like the movie had an overarching message to it. Living in our own world every day. We will live in a virtual metaverse. Everyone has the right to be loved. Everyone has the right to love. At one point, he attempts to E.T. us. I'll be right here. Which does not have the same effect. And then it's over. And it gets even better because while watching the credits, you start to see all these people that he tricked into doing the movie. And at one point, you even see all the different companies that have helped out. Until we get this little message saying that any company 
with the letter N or B in its name is actually just Neil Breen. Yeah. Yeah, he he invented like 10 companies to make it feel legit, but then he couldn't stand passing up the credit for all the parts he did himself. So he had to sneak in a little, ah, ah, just kidding. I did everything. Yeah, you did everything but explain why the hell that dude had a mustache, but that is it. And the fever dream is not done because I grabbed a bunch of random scenes with zero context. So let's head on over to Red Eye Reacts. We were both selected. AI will reach a level of self-awareness. Neil, buddy, your heart rate is all over the place. Good morning. Have a nice day. Another defeat for the forces of evil. Apparently that building was the force of evil. Well done. I'll see you back at headquarters. Get over it. Buddy, I, I I don't know how much more over here she can be. I hear the food is spectacular. It's just friggin' invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I do love how he honestly felt the need to hold our hand here just to make sure that we understand it's his twin. Only that one has a beard. I don't need to carry a weapon. I am the weapon. This is so nice. I want it to always be like this. What are you following me for? Follow. What are you following me for? You betrayed us. You betrayed us. It's done. It's done. Let's do it again sometimes in, in like a very long time from now. Thank you, patrons, for testing the limits of my mental health. That honestly surprised even me, which is not easily done. If you want to try and make me go crazy like those beautiful people do, sign up down below. I would appreciate it. It's a great way to support the channel. I have a Discord community down below. I have a merch store down below. I will see you next time. And until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Oh my God. <laughs>